Welcome back to the End Time Remnant YouTube channel. I am Dorothy, and um, firstly, I want to apologize for the delay in making these videos. Um, I have not been obedient to the Lord. The Lord placed this on my heart weeks ago, and I am just getting around to making these videos, but I'm here, and um, prayerfully, they will be a blessing to someone. Um, secondly, hopefully you can hear me clearly. I am actually at the park about to um, get a little exercise in for the day and um, I decided to just sit down and do <laughs> what it is that the Lord has, I feel like, has asked me to do weeks ago, literally. Um, I don't want the message to be long and drawn out, but it is important um, for me to take my time and be clear um, and share with someone what they may need to hear during this time. Um, so, off the rip, um, the Lord is warning um, those of you who have become obsessed. And when I say obsessed, I mean obsessed with watching and listening to every kingdom spouse or kingdom marriage video that is posted to YouTube. Okay, some of you are more committed to watching these videos than you are to praying and spending time with the Lord each day. You will wake up in the morning and before you say thank you to the Lord for breath in your lungs, you will go on YouTube and you will look for videos about kingdom spouses and about kingdom marriages. There is a deception that is running rampant and it grieves the heart of God. There is major deception and marriage has become the golden calf. Straight up idolatry. People wake up with kingdom spouses on their minds. People go to sleep with kingdom spouses on their minds. They spend the entire day with kingdom spouses on their minds. That is nothing short of idolatry. Um, it is not the will of God for you. And, um, yeah, the warning is very simple. Be careful about your willingness to wake up each day and listen to and come into agreement with these videos that are being posted all over YouTube. God wants to speak to you directly about his will for your life. And he can speak to you in any way he chooses. However, if you have little to no time for him in your own personal prayer life, honestly, I'm not sure why you think the only way he wants to speak to you is through prophetic words on YouTube, right? He won't speak to you directly, but he'll constantly speak to you through these quote unquote prophets. That makes absolutely no sense. God is about personal relationship. That's, that's, that's why our Lord and Savior died, to give us personal relationship with the Father. Right? If you read the word, you understand that when Jesus died, the veil was ripped from top to bottom. And there was no more limitation between man and the Father. Right? We're able to go to the Father directly in the name of Jesus to receive what it is that we need. Answers, deliverance, healing, comfort, encouragement. There are no high priests anymore. There is nothing separating us from God anymore. It's as simple as you kneeling and getting into prayer. So I struggle to understand why so many people are logging on to these videos and literally coming into agreement with the foolishness that is on there. Um, I don't want it to seem as though I don't have compassion because I know that there are a lot of men and women out there who genuinely are waiting for the Lord to bless them with a spouse. There's nothing wrong with desiring to be married. There's nothing wrong with desiring children. There's nothing wrong with that. Where we go wrong is when you want that more than you want personal relationship with the Father. When you want that more, then you want to know God. And when you actually believe that God 
only speaks to you through these people on YouTube. Are you kidding? I'm going to break this up into three videos because I don't want it to be long and drawn out. But this first video is just really letting you know that the Lord is sending you a warning. If you are watching this video um, and it applies to you, then you have been warned, right? God is loving. He is forgiving. Repent. Repent of the idolatry, right? Repent of coming into agreement with witchcraft and spirits of divination. You know, a lot of these people that are on here, they claim to be prophets and prophetesses. These are witches and warlocks. I have said it on other videos, but I noticed that like these people, their, their platforms are just really growing like exponentially really, 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 really fast. And when you look at the subject matter and the content, it's all about marriage. It's all about marriage. Um, and so my question to you, I'm going to leave you with this question. Um, at a time where we really are at the end of the age, at a time where Jesus Christ is soon to return, at a time where war and rumors of war, right? Um, at a time where death and famine and war and all of these things are knocking at the door, at a time where you can't even turn on the news without seeing something horrendous. Do you really think the only thing God is talking to his prophets about is marriage? Just a question, right? For all these people who literally have ministry pages, there's no other prophetic word other than what your kingdom spouse is doing, what he's thinking, how he's feeling about you. I'm going to get into that in the next video, but I'm asking you to really think about that. And if you lack the discernment, to really think about that, then I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. That discernment would be something that he gives you well before he gives you a kingdom spouse. Discernment is, is most necessary during this time. Um, so I'm going to be working on video number two. God bless you. Um, I will keep you in prayer. Um, and that's all I have for this first video. You, you, you are being warned. Um, many of you have been doing the absolute most there's really no other way to put it. The idolatry is foul. Um, and God, God is warning. He's sending a, a warning.